CDEC versus Evil Geniuses. It's all yours, Eldy. Thank you very much, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are live here. Stuff in the early game because you just don't have the stats to do so. Like 47 damage hits. Plus the fact that you don't want to use, really use the raise just oh, to harass. Lane. They are going on Universe here. He's dropping quite low. He cogs himself in with Gorder. A rare first blood for Universe. The bounty normally known for the pressure on the mid lane. But to die, you're going to just play incredibly defensively and make sure that that doesn't happen. Don't feed away those crucial levels. They're going to make the move on Q though, and oh, there's dear. no way he expects this. Oh, Night Stalker joining the party. Not even really required here, but will help secure the kill. AG, as soon as that nighttime hits, a quick jump towards top. They bring down the Visage. This was the other vehicle that we were talking about, right? This is the less reliable one, but possibly the easier one to set up is... They can kill Doom pretty quickly. They sneak up on Sumail. They are going to isolate him. He gets off the pulse. Now he's going to get the double Doomling. Mini shard toss. Oh, so adorable. This is what they needed in the previous game is... Aggressive isn't the type of hero that just wants to sit in the lane, farm nonstop. You want to try to play aggressive on this side of the map, but the Doom comes out. Takes the Doom, it's only a Bounty Hunter, still a nice pick for EG, but... I mean, hey, at least it's not one of your big heroes. Just a lot of rotations. I mean, that was the creep, safe. though, you know? If he didn't see that snowball coming a split second earlier, he may just die there. There's a Dust Pop Bottom, Universe is gonna engage on the Garter. Does find the Bounty Hunter, looks like it should be a freebie. And indeed, the Bounty will go down, still looking for his level 6. Nice pick off there. Is but EG the Lina is getting opened up on in the river, or the SF. Duh. <laughs> In the end, it's Arteezy who does get punished. So a nice trade there. C deck lose their bounty hunter against a Shadow Fiend who had some ancient stacks, had or had some jungle stacks, and was playing incredibly aggressively at top. And he's gone for the dominator. He's gone for the more aggressive build mid lane. Though there's a stun onto Fear. Out comes the slave. A couple more auto attacks. Needs that one last one and gets the kill. Cheeky, really starting to heat up. We have seen this before out of C deck. Pretty bad position. We saw it yesterday from unknown. It seems. This is the go-to play for the American teams. Arteezy will grab the Aegis. Do they get out? Xyz on the hunt. He trucks out the shards. It's a catch only on PPD, though. Sumail on the other side of it. Arteezy down in the river. They are going to isolate Garter. Bring down the Bounty Hunter as well. And Sumail just kind of watches. There was a jump in from Universe. But he's fighting into a lot of firepower. They doom Shiki after the Laguna Blade. And Cedek trying to death ball this. But Arteezy is getting off so many raises in this fight. In fact, pop back out. Try to commit on a Sumail. There's an armlet on Aggressive. But he is silenced currently. Oh, he's not going to get he it. Up the raid. Just barely, but can he armlet toggle this? Snowball coming in, he does! He toggles it! Aggressive! Still rage! Can he toggle again? Yes, he will! Jumping on to Fear the Familiars, finish the job they've gotten four! It's Arteezy against the world! Can he get that raise? He wants it! He wants it bad! There's another rage available, pops it! Familiar stun, and will disengage! Masterful play there by Xe with the snowball! After that C deck, they waste no time, it's smoking up! That Doom is still cooling down. It is daytime. Smoke's gonna get revealed. They know somebody's around the corner. Do they find someone? It's Sumail off the bat. He's got the Alpha Wolf here. He's a big source of damage, but he's also a big source of gold. To see that quickly mow him down. And we'll wrap up onto the tower. A bit of farm though, which is kind of nice. He's got no HP. I think they maybe want to look for this. It's a little bit obvious. This stands out a little uh, bit. Hey guys, how's it going? You forgot about me. Jumping on the PPD has the rage going and is going to engage. Can't finish anyone off yet, but the snowball coming in with the shards is sufficient. Universe also isolated, looks for the hook. He does, but it's a death hook. His last words before going down. Aggressive has the rage soon. Does he look for more? They've managed to get two tracks out now, EG. You know, Blitz, one thing we haven't really discussed and as farmed as the Shadow Fiend is, it, it almost feels like they're just able to ignore him in these fights. Yeah, he's got the Aegis. Yeah, he's still the leader in net worth. But they just kind of fought around him there. Oh, this time they might fight onto him. They do use the open wounds here. Arteezy tries to turn, go for the auto attack. They uppercut Sumail, swapped, and tries to get up the Doom. He will manage to do so, but again, the Laguna Blade quick on the draw. Shiki is going to look to skate his way out of here. Sumail, tying on, is going to survive. Arteezy laid out the raises, standing through it all. They bring down the Tusk. The Lina should barely make it out, it seems. But C deck are thwarted, and now they're going to lose. Potentially infected is already a second. They get the Goblin. Bounty Hunter down as well. And that C deck lead, a frantic scramble. I mean, utilizing your ultimate off the bat, make it hard for them to kite by slowing them down with it. Go for the chase. Make yourself a target in the middle of the fight for your team to fight around. 
The problem right now for me though is there's the hook. I thought that's the problem for Shiki. Gets hooked, but the BKB helps him out a bit here. It won't help him the against physical the physical damage. Man. He gets up the Yules, but then the Requiem awaits him on the way down. Swap back in by TPD, making the plays. They're getting doomed. See next and potentially even more here. Running for his life is Garter. Familiar is going to get cleaned up. And they did not actually. No way out for the Lima. They did such a good job of isolating him, making sure that they didn't have to use the Doom on him that time. And this is going to allow Sumail to open up on aggressive like he does right now. Jumps in. Fear's going to chase this one out. Has the silence. They've got the lockdown. And they get the kill. EG. Patient. Even while c -Deck was mounting their offensive. And now they've clawed this game back to dead even. And it might even go their way after this tower when the graph updates. It's shooting straight up there. Doom for me. They're actually just waiting to hold on to it. Watch out, but look at how quick this Roche drops. Are they thinking about it? There is a rocket onto XZ, a warning shot from Universe, and then they jump in. The Roche will end up going down. Oh, he's on the other side, though. He rolls the other direction. The backup does come from Cheeky, but at the same time, they're giving up the Aegis against Sumail. That's a track kill for a lot of heroes. They look to jump in the pit with the familiars too late. Track is there in fear, though. Double stun. So they have another snowball. Three seconds looking for the TP out. He will make it. So they get the one track kill. Can they engage? Track goes out, but it's on the hero that's the hardest to bring down. Dyer's they open wounds are teasing and just trying to slow him, but they don't want to fight into this Aegis. The problem is they may not have a choice. Uh, there's the eggs. This could be the item. Now they're looking to set up. They want to bring him down once, probably without using that ultimate if possible. But Cheeky is going to end up getting caught out here, focused and brought down. He doesn't have to buy back ready. And now time for round two. Artur unloads the spirit bomb and rushes in. They swap back Q. They're going to get a two for one. All of a sudden, EG, they form up another round of familiars, almost entirely cleaning them out. And it's aggressive, charging in, looking to man fight Does the shadow. Does he have the feet. damage? Does he? No, he runs. He turns tail, gets spanked by TZ on the way out. They lose another. They don't have the Lena buyback. They've lost the Lena Brax here. And they're not done just yet. They track and rush, rush, rush forward looking for more universe. Getting caught up. Four step up to the high ground. Tries to retreat. Steady turns on PPD. They can't even kill him. Oh, aggressive to win. And of course he has no rage. He does have the armor, but that's it. Can they hunt him down? Juking around the trees. Here, there. Swinging back, but PPD has a swap in eight seconds. He's looking to go and gets off the stun. Rage still cooling out. Snowball through. On to two. They need more firepower, it seems, though. The Shadow Fiend's doing oh, the work. Aggressive to the left. To the North. He's got to get the hell out of here. Needs to retreat. You've Can got an armor toggle for your life. Barely silent, still running. He does end up escaping enough here. Maybe they get at least a track kill out of this. PPD's there. He's got the swap ready. That's the gem saved. And it's PPD almost out. EG hang onto their gem. They hang onto their Arteezy. They get the Rex. And they get a hell of a lot of gold out of that. Easily has to give you absolutely no time. That created so much chaos in the fight, immediately losing Shiki. He bought that Aghanims knowing that they couldn't win the fight without it, but this might be their opportunity. Quick blink out, Sumail ready with the reactions. They do get the open wounds off on Universe. Oh, the cost. Charge. Everybody trapped in all kinds of weird places, but Universe gets swapped out. Will be kept alive. The Doom committed on Shiki, who got up his BKP. It's Arteezy runs in, starts laying into Q. Quickly gonna bring him down, and now looking for more. They get the stun up on Aggressive. Surrounded and beaten down. He'll fall as well. They jump on the Garner. Looking for him too. EG. Clean out three. And it might be familiar. Spest the after course here. Dinner, perhaps. Not enough. No, they're going to let the familiars go. Mercy, do they go straight for that second lane? No, they can't. There's tier twos. Instead, they'll take the raid. No, they're going straight for the throne. EG looking for the killer instinct plays. Trying to force out those buybacks. It's Lena against the world. Needs the Tusk to help her out. Fear's getting stunned by familiars as he tries to join the squad. But it might be too late. EG onto the tier fours. They'll bring those down as well. A win here. They're into the top three. Looking for the reap here. Another huge valve event with a slightly tweaked roster. Many doubted them, but EG are showing. They, they just are need not this to one trifled with. There is a track on Universe right now. They snowball in. c -Deck not giving up the goose just yet. XZ trying to hit on RTZ. The tank, the linchpin in the front lines. He's way too big. He beats down XZ. They he doesn't have the BKB. The Laguna, they got him. They actually managed to slay the beast. And now Sumail jacks up as well. Has EG overextended. This could be huge. PPD on the run. Popping the dust. That trick worked last time. It won't this time around. His fear will fall. This might be five heroes with track. This could be five. My goodness. Cedex. Wait for the track. Give up the stun. The track. They got him too. PPD dead as well. It's a wipe. Just look at the gold change. Cedex. That is 7,100 gold changing hand. On top, and if you give this to the Lena, she's almost oh, always going to be able universe. to get her ultimate off. Eyes on universe. 
Does he go for it? Is There's it no way he's going to be able to grab this? Is it worth it? He's got a rocket soon. They're going to snowball into the pit. Rocket gets fired. And he's going to go for it. There's the hook. He gets the last hit. Where the hell is that damn Aegis? I couldn't even click it into chaos. And it's Lena who grabs it. Still, denies them a little bit of gold. Do you, do you think it was just a straight up blunder to go for the tier four? Should they have backed earlier? Or because they could have gone tier twos. They could have just pushed out the lanes, played it very safely. Oh, oh we're gonna, we stop. might have a fight. Snowball onto fear. They look to jump. Cheeky's there as well. Does he want to commit that Laguna on this hero? Doesn't seem to. Arteezy is the one that tracks oh. him. He pops the BKB and they look to bring out Cheeky. Laguna already engaged and Cheeky is going to go down. That's just the Aegis, but they also lose their gem. The bounty hunter dead. Aggressive Doom kept out of the fight. He doesn't and have quickly, It's going to turn into a 2v5 between the Doom, the dead leader who's only now responding, looking to engage into this one. The life's still out of the picture. The bounty hunter dead as well. Q. You have to win this fight. To run, to hide. There's no escape from Arteezy. XC rolling out of the cogs, likely to be next. He snowballs. He gets the uppercut off. No escape. And Cheek even pops his head out of the base. That's a bold move. Tier 2. Oh, Universe. actually still up, but they're going deeper. They're looking for the kills. No, back to the throne. Back where they started. And EG have done it. They take out CDEC, their arch nemesis, 2 to nothing. And a total reversal from the first time these teams met on the main stage of TI5. And even though this game wasn't as clean as game one, or that felt more like a draft loss, this felt more like a complete team win. It really did. Everyone did their job. They put Sumail on a less comfortable hero, but he got the dooms he needed later on in the game. and.